Hello YouTube folks, alright, so I'm gonna do the Ghost Ahoy quest with Emeka here. And let me tell you exactly what you need to do this quest. Ah, alright. This is a quest duo. Alright, so the things you want to start out the quest are 20, or actually you need 35 ecto tokens, nettle tea, bucket of milk, needle, thread, silk, knife, 3 blue dyes, 3 yellow dyes, 3 red dyes, a spade, a hundred to three hundred coins or so, an oak longbow, a bucket of slime, and a ghost speak amulet. Alright, in order to get the, the nettle tea, what you want to do is you want to wield the gloves of silence, and the nettles are located very close to the south yew tree in Edgeville. Combine the nettle with a bowl of water, and then use the nettle crap with a range, and voila, nettle tea. Alright, so to start this quest out, I think you talked to this lady over here, her name is Valerina or something. Why? What is the matter? Are you talking to her? Mm -hmm. Okay. You haven't said anything yet, say something. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mecca. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I do. It's a very sad story. Uh, yes, just yes. I, I already went through the dialogue. I was just going to wait for you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> there could be another way. Okay, we did that. Let's see now what we have to do. Okay, we got to speak to Necroveris. So, you said it was in the temple, right? Yes. Okay, so lead the way. Okay, here he is. He's really mean, isn't he? Mm hmm. Yeah. You dare speak to me in the name of that place! <laughs> Science, they're all put a beat. Told me to get out of his sight. <laughs> get out of my sight! Yeah, I told I guess try talking to him again. Well. Listen, please listen to me. No, listen to me. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Go back to Valorian after you speak to What's-His-Face and he just gives you a douchebag move. Just go back to work. You can tattle tell him how much of an asshole this person is, so... I'm sorry. Talk to her again. I'm sorry, but he's an asshole. Alright. <laughs> Only a small blah, 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 blah. Do you know where this woman can be found? Oh, all right, let's, let's choose that one, I guess. Okay. Okay, so basically you're gonna go to this, her friend or whatever, so lead the way. All right, so in order to get to that place where that person told you to go, you're gonna start at Port Penis, Port Fap, Bobby Bit. Oh, you know what? Port Fapping, okay? And then you're gonna go blah, blah, blah down here, and you're gonna wanna be here, in this little area right here. So we shall go inside. I click too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm here about Necrovarus. She wants tea, so you're gonna give her tea and she's gonna complain, oh, it's not good enough because I'm a bitch and I like to have everything my way. So we're gonna make it her way. We're gonna use a pretty little cup and, you know, like, be all submissive to her. Like, okay, now here's your wonderful tea. So did you, you went and go ahead and use that bowl with the cup she gave you. And then you're going to give her her crap. And you're going to give her her tea now with her pretty little cup. And now she wants milk in it. So we're going to have to use milk in it to make it perfect. Because she wants perfection. She sounds like a teenage girl. Alright, so we talk to her again. <laughs> and finally she will accept. Ah, yes. Just click, 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 click. Okay, now you're going to be really nice, and you're going to say, you are doing so much for me. Is there anything I can do? Hello, job. Just kidding. You're really gross. <laughs> like, you see your character just start kneeling down. You're just like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, so she just gave you something. So anyway, she'll tell you a story about her son and give you a model ship that he used to own. What you want to do is prepare it with a knife, needle, and thread, and silk. Okay. The knife should be inside our toolbox. So, repair. You replace the toast for its missing flag. Okay. Alright, we should have repaired it. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, once you do that, you're going to head north of the Ecto Fuentes place and go to the cool pirate, little pirate ship Majiggy Biggie. So, yeah, we're just gonna go to a pirate ship. Okay, in order to go to the pirate ship area, <laughs> you wanna go northwest of Ecto Fuentes into this little location here. Okay, we just walk in. Ah, okay, cool. That works. What the? Oh, shit, I got to something. Oh, okay. Are we supposed to do that? Okay. No, let's go, like, look, search. Okay. Climbing it up. Climb the ladder. When you climb up the ladder, you're gonna go over here. I think, yeah. And... Is this the right place you're supposed to be at? The fuck is that? <laughs> Maybe we have to climb this ladder right here. What the hell is that? It's, that is, it's a naked man. Not like naked okay, man. yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna climb this little thing up. Right there. And go climb up. Climb it up. Mm-hmm. And now you're captain of the ship. You check every wind speed and you check what color it is. Like for each type of flag. Okay. So See. the top it's telling me my top flag is purple. So I'm guessing I have to use the red dye with a green dye. With a red uh, 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 red dye <laughs> with a blue dye. Alright, so go ahead and search the mast. You can see tattered fly blowing in the wind. The wind is blowing too hard to make out any details. So pretty much that means we have to wait till the wind speed it goes down. All right, click it. Purple. So you're just gonna use red with blue and purple. Okay. So now you can see a tattered flag blowing in the wind. The school emblem is colored orange. So you choose a school emblem. Ah, uh, okay. okay. So you're gonna use the orange on the model ship, and the emblem is orange. All right, so how this works is you're going to click, right click, and then you're going to click on search mast when the wind speed, bleh, wind speed is down too low. And the colors vary from person to person, but what basically is going to happen is it's going to show you a color and a certain body part of the ship. So you're going to search mast when it, wow, okay. It's too hard, but when I clicked it, it lagged, it trolled. Oh, when it goes low, click, okay. Alright, so it says here, you can see a tattered flag blowing in the wind. The bottom half of the flag is colored purple. Yeah, any colors associated with red, yellow, and blue will be parts of the colors here. So the bottom half is purple. Model ship, bottom half. Now we have to see the top half. So you're going to go ahead and click that when it starts being a dummy. Okay, the top half of the flag is colored yellow. So you're gonna go use yellow dye on the model ship or any color that you used and top half. All right, that should be pretty much all nice. Okay, so the top of the flag for me is yellow, the skull emblem is orange and the bottom of the flag is purple. All right. All righty. So once that's all figured out, you're gonna get the hell out of here. Okay, from this point now, we'll step down one ladder and we'll enter this cabin. Okay. You notice there's an old man here. And what you do is talk to him and ask him if this boat belongs to him. If you have the correct colors, he will claim it is his, and then you will ask for a chest key. So basically, and yeah, basically you talk to a naked old guy and say, Hi, is this your toy? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true! Once you get the chest key, you open the chest and you should get a map scrap. Okay. My mother, she still lives. <laughs> That's exactly what he sounds like. The captain says yes. The captain right. gives you, or this dude gives you a chest key. So yeah, that was weird. Yeah, looking at that naked RuneScape guy made me screw up big time. Just ignore that key in my inventory from here on out. The key is non-existent once you open the chest. All right, so go ahead and use your key on the closed chest. Once you do that, you will unlock the chest. You're going to search, well, you're going to open that unlocked chest. And you're going to get a piece of the map. And then, yeah. Bye. All right, so go ahead and go to the little plank. And go to the little jumping stones right there. You see the little jumping stones? Or, yeah, they're over here. Sorry about that. Jumping stones over here.
Are you crazy? Alright. Search. Search it, and you find a piece of map inside the chest. All right. That's what she said. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> After you get the map piece, what we're going to do is run back, well, hop back to the ship. Okay. Yeah. All right. Once you're back onto the ship, you'll climb down the ship's ladder, and then you search all the chests towards the east of the ship until a giant lobster appears. So climb down the ship's ladder. And once the giant lobster appears, just kill it and then go back to searching until you get another map piece. There you go. Okay, there we go. You can click that and then you're gonna get that. <laughs> Yay, seaweed! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Once you get the final map piece, you just combine them all together to get a giant treasure map sort of thing. All right, and once you're finished with the little pirate area, you're going to return back to Port Fapping. And then you're going to go to this little area right here. And you're going to speak to this dude. And he's going to ask you for 25 Ecto tokens because he's an asshole. So just talk to him because you want to go to Dragon Tooth Island. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, take me. I think actually, okay, yeah. Now but go there. if you have the Ring of Cheros, you can charm him and pay only 10. All right, first off, let's just make sure that you have all your map pieces together to make a treasure map. Once you've done that, stand in front of this statue and write, read the treasure map and study where you are. After you've done that, you want to right-click and follow, and we're going to go certain directions to get to the map, the part of the map where you want to dig. And so we're going to go these routes. You want to go six paces south, eight paces east, two paces north, two paces east, two paces south, two paces east, and 20 paces south. Right click, follow, all right, south, four paces. Yep. Right click again, follow, south, two paces. Then we're gonna go east, follow, eight paces. East, eight paces, which is, guess what four plus four is, guys? It's 22, yeah. <laughs> Alright, follow east four paces. Uh, north two paces. Follow north two paces. <laughs> Alright. Follow two east again. <laughs> east two paces. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go south and east two paces. South. South two paces, east two paces. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. South two paces. Mm -hmm. And then follow east two paces. <laughs> Whoa, that was right. Okay. Yep. And here comes the trigger boy. We're going to go south 20 paces. Okay. So that's 10 plus 10. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to act like you don't. South is 20 paces. <laughs> I'm being stupid. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Just kidding. <laughs> Where's the thing you know? <laughs> South. Ten. Yeah. You then use your spade on the spot. Okay. okay. Alright, go ahead and start digging. So use your spade. And there you have it. You have the book of Heron Kanto. Or whatever it's called. Heron <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> Alright. Get the book of Heron Kanto. And then we're I'll see. The book of Heron Kanto. I'm gonna follow you. Alright. Sorry about that. And so apparently it says we're gonna head back to Port Bastemist or whatever and talk to Akuranu. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go role play leave. Role playing. <laughs> role playing. <laughs> yeah, we're in the role playing server, so I mean one time I went into this world, like this is the very first time I ever went into this world. And this guy, like in a freaking leopard suit and some kind of leopard pants in the game, I don't know what the fuck it was. He was just like, hi, do you want to see what a dirty man does in his house? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so travel back. So I mean, okay, if you really want to see some fucked up stars, just go to World 42. Not even kidding. It's really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for me. I am. Okay. He has like a katana or something. Let's so talk to this dude. Yeah. So. Uh, it's nice to see a human to... face around here. 
You want me to explain this part and then you explain when we get to the pub okay. and talk to Rob? Yeah. Let me know when you're recording. I'm recording now. <laughs> oh my god, okay. All right, anyways, so you're going to talk to this guy and you want to ask for the translation manual. He'll tell you that he'll offer it to you if you are able to give him an oak longbow signed by Robin. So, in order to do that, you're going to have to go to the pub and Robin will agree to sign it if you can beat him in, in a game of rune draw. Okay, so we said, wait here, I'm going to go get your bow. So we're going to get his bow now, because we're nice. We're nice people. We get bows for people. Yep. Just nothing too expensive. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay. Make sure you're following me. Yeah. Don't hold back. <laughs> How can you hang out in a pub full of, like, dead people? I don't get that. <laughs> okay. Talk to Robin. About something else. Something else. Longbow. I'm sorry, I don't sign autographs. Asshole. Alright. Okay. This is the part where you agree to like... So yes, I'll give you a game? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you want to explain how to do the game now? Okay. Alright, so the object of this game is basically it's like a gambling game. A gamble slash something so you're gonna gamble by clicking rune draw you're not really giving anything yourself you're just clicking rune draw and you need to win four times if you get a death rune you're fucked so let's do a rune draw try to win this the fuck nothing, nothing's happening right now nothing is happening you just click draw again <laughs> okay okay sorry you have to click here this draw okay so okay so I got seven, and he got one. Remember, four times. So I'm going to draw again. Okay, got water. Ooh, he got death. He died. I won. Okay. I win. Yeah. Alrighty. So now you're going to talk to this dude again. Alright. What if you lose again? Or uh, I'll win. So, another game. This is number two. Okay, once you win, talk about something else. Alright, please don't do that, blah blah blah. Yes, anything. He signs it. Yay, okay, it's signed. Signed Okbo. Alright. Now all you have to do is return to the guy and he'll give you the translation manual. Okay. Ah! Come on, keep ah! up with me, keep up no, with me. No, we're... Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay. There he is. Oops. <laughs> and after all that dialogue, you'll finally get the translation manual. On to the mystic robe. Mystic robe. Oh, snap. Alright. Uh, so now, once you're done giving the person their little signed bow, you're going to go here. And now, who you talk to? We're going to talk to the ghost innkeeper, and we're going to ask him for a job. All right, going to get employed. If only this it were this easy. In the United States, <laughs> you get a job like this. Like, how a job? All right, so do you have any jobs I can do? Yes, actually, I do. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'd be delighted. Oh, my God. I, I'm so jealous of this economy. <laughs> but this is a horrible city to be working at. Just look how dull it is. Mm -hmm. All right, anyways, you're going to get a bed sheet, and he's going to ask you to hand it to Robin. What you're going to do is use the bed sheet on the bucket of slime, and you're going to have a ghostly green disguise or whatever. And you can, like, wear it and all this stuff and walk around like, ooh, you know? Like, you know, boo. Yeah. Okay, anyways, <laughs> you can take it off. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to go talk to this guy about petition. Okay. You look so weird. Look at you. You're like a, a RuneScape version of Minecraft Creeper. <laughs> I know. Let's go explode. That'd be so cool. Like, just imagine <laughs> you go like Varaka and exploding and everyone's like, whoa, what the fuck? That'd be awesome. Okay. That'd be freaking awesome. 
Let's go to the guy first, and then we'll read the guide, what it says. Excellent. Okay, here he is. So, let's read the guide real quick. All right, so go ahead and uh, you're going to start petitioning the people. And we're going to start with this dude. All right. No, no, no. You collect a petition from yeah, him. Yeah, I collect it. Good sign. So okay. He, okay, so he's going to give us the petition thing, and then we're going to get petitions from little peoples, because they're nice. <laughs> they don't even know what they're signing for. It. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Will you sign this? Yeah, okay, in reality, it's like freaking some kind of insurance company policy. Well, certainly I will. Aw, this guy's really nice. He did it for free. Aw. You can tell that you're a female ghost. <laughs> it's like a show boobs. Like, hey, sign this for me. Yeah, will ya? <laughs> Why do we have to walk about like, Oh my god. Why do you think I say no? <laughs> this guy's walking around saying swag in his ghost outfit. Wait, what? He's walking around in his ghost outfit saying swag. Oh my god, he's following me. So close to it. <laughs> Alright, we can go back and stand in front of the guy and just wait for me. Yeah, okay. For me to get my signatures. Yep. Alright, so now that we got the awesome 10 signatures from all these little ghostly douchebags, because they're all douchebags, we're going to talk to Gravingus. You've got them all. I'm going to go present them to asshole. Okay. Now we're going to talk to Necrovoids. Okay, so talk to this dude. And he's going to be a little douchebag, and he's going to burn the petition to ashes. Oh my gosh, you serious? But on the bright side, he drops a bone key. We're going to pick that up. And we're Bitch! Going to the fuck's wrong, dude, man? If this guy were real? Ugh. Okay, wait, so what do we get? The we're going to get key. a bone key okay. right under him. Alright, so we're going to go up to the second floor. And you see this little room across the map? We're going to go over here. And open the door. Oh, there's a ghost disciple. He's stopping me. What are you doing in there? Yeah, I was curious. So that room is a penis. Get it. Use the bone key on the... Okay, use the bone key on the door, and then it is unlocked. Yep. Yeah. Bone key. Door. Then what we're going to do is open the coffin and search it. Get in, search it. And now we have mystical robes. Mystical robes, yay! All right, now we we're going to go back to the old crone, and then we're going to get the enchanted ghost speed amulet. All right, so from the Ecto Funkus era, you are going to go next to the Slayer Tower, which is this little house right here. And once you are there, you are going to speak to a person. The old crone. Yes. Which is... Oh, wait. Her. Him. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay, I can talk about necrophilia. I'm just kidding. Ew. <laughs> God, the ropes of penis. The book of penis more. Ah. Okay, so once you do all that stuff, she's going to change your ghost speak amulet. You can go back to the douchebag. Okay, I thing. think she just, like, had sex with me and... Whoa! whoa just what, what just happened to me? She danced and enchanted your ghost. No, she like it. spread her legs or like humping me. I don't know. She did some dance. It was like her ritual. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's so unique, lady. It's a gross ritual. Once you are done enchanting your crap. Wait, whoa, okay. Who were we? <laughs> okay. All right. So once a lady has sex with you and your stuff is enchanted, you're going to go back to Ectofundus or whatever it's called. And once you are there. Okay, and now you're going to talk to the guy again. How dare you face me? You're an asshole. Okay. I kind of want to say that, but I'm not gonna. Okay, what the fuck? I think he just came. A beam of light. I didn't even get to read that. So a beam of light shines upon you, and he just sets the ghost free of their own will. And then after that, you're going to go back to the one lady where you started the quest and collect your reward. Yay! Once you're done talking to that asshole, come back to the little port fapping and go back to the where the quest started. And then you're going to talk to Velorina. And you're going to say everything that happened. And she's going to be happy and she's going to get you some stuff. 
And you're done with the quest. Congratulations. You completed Ghost Ahoy. You are awarded stuff. That, this guy is, he has problems. I mean, he's sitting here naked shirtless, you know. Some person randomly walks up to him, gives him a toy, and I'm just like, Hi, is this your toy? <gasps> uh-huh. All right, in order to go to the pirate ship area, you want to go north S. Oh, read it. Read the treasure map real quick. I read your treasure map. All right. Notice how it's telling you like all these stuff. I don't have a treasure map. You, did I you combine a... all the map pieces? Oh wait. You know what? I forgot <laughs> to do. You're gonna come. You don't have all the pieces of the map yet. I do. The fuck? <laughs> you don't? No. No. Oh my god! No. <laughs> no it took me to get that. Yay. Thank you for watching. Say bye.